idiots at the wheel. Clear. Got the floor? Sure. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. It was time to choose, a nasty fall or a bullet to the head. That was the boss lady, only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. was still a little rusty, but the tune was coming together. Just as this new start of mine was about to come to a shuddering halt. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped, not about to be thrown off it. Rodrigo. I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Uh, where's Bronco? Uh, I didn't want to fuck this up more than I already had. Looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. was on the wall to the left of the gate. <clears throat> the 
great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. They weren't waiting on my say-so. I had to move. Rodrigo was in the van. Maybe it was time to let him out. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. On. It's okay. Que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão! Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos! Me ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância! Me ajuda. Puta que pariu. Que fuck. Você fez bem, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. So I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up where people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. But it is a cool <laughs> town, man. Hey, here we are. Saúde! <laughs> 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 I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Fashion week. My God, Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh yeah, I know Anna. <laughs> That was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Another way out through the VIP lounge. Which fools love a private exit. not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go. Son of a bitch.
você tá fazendo? Como assim? Você tá com algum problema? Cara? Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Aqui por causa das meninas do branco. Ele não tem nada a ver com isso. Still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a bit of a psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and, and Marcelo. But he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, oh, there they are! She's making a run for it. Hey, hold on. Swing it around. Move. You're gonna lose her. Shoot him down. Shoot him down. Fácil demais. Ele vai matar! Faça algo! Ele vai matar! 
side, Passos. Get us down there. Right. I'm headed to the helipad. Shit. Drop. Look out! Back! 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 Goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. This <laughs> Odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. Procrastination. One of the many contenders for my epitaph. But if I didn't get to Giovanna soon, the Broncos would be writing hers tomorrow morning. This was a mess. Where the hell was Pat? It was Giovanna's necklace. Now I just had to find the rest of her. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What, do I look all right? 
Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Assholes. Crazy. Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my god. It's Raul! Giovanna! Raul! What the hell are you doing? Giovanna! <laughs> hey! No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Paso's was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. 